everyone. Good morning from St. Martin. Today we're catching a ferry to Seba. Bright and early, so let's go. Apparently dropping your uh, rental car off here really early in the morning is like an unusual thing. The point is you need to pre-arrange your taxi if it's before 9 a.m. Yes. Because they're not coming. Yeah, pre-arrange it. Open. Yeah, that... They had 200 drivers and nobody's in the office at 7 a.m. Yeah, exactly, so... Pro tip, if you ever catch the early ferry, which you also have to be at an hour and a half early. We finally made it on Holly. We're supposed to depart at 40 minutes ago. 40 minutes ago, so running a little late, but it was okay. We noticed this ferry has <laughs> old airline seats for the chairs. Are you so excited? Yeah, the water's so clear here. It was beautiful coming in. So far, Seba seems very nature-oriented, which is really cool. They had like yes, stuff for their hiking trails and uh, diving and I don't know, like all these advertisements for it. I thought that was kind of neat. <laughs> might be like the craziest Airbnb we've ever stayed in. I know, and it's crazy too. Like, it's like I've never been to a place before and just like instantly been like, this is for me. <laughs> the I, drive was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. There are some moments where I was like, I'm gonna throw up on this cliff edges. <laughs> and he's like steering all fast. Oh my God, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> a little wild. We're gonna do a full Airbnb tour later because right now she's still kind of getting it cleaned up she let us check in a little bit early so let's get cleaned up and then walk down go get groceries lunch yeah. yeah this is crazy our airbnb is literally like a hike in the jungle yeah yeah it's, it's at the edge of a cliff on, on a farm a, on a farm on, on the volcano, edge of it yeah. in rainforest. what is this life like look at that So far, this is amazing. The whole yeah. place smells floral like a rainforest, mm -hmm. and there's flowers everywhere. It definitely has like a, a great tropical vibe. But wow, <laughs> we're like a five minute walk from our place, and this is the view. The view from the place is like... It's crazy. I'm so excited to show you guys. It's going to be amazing. All right, so we went to, what was this place called? Save a snack. Save a snack. I got curry chicken, plantains, and a salad. Disgusted. <laughs> Here's this curry chicken. Hold on, let me think. It almost reminds me of like a Thai curry. It's a little sweeter. Like maybe they used coconut in it. It's pretty good. I got beans instead of plantains. Uh, beans? Okay, they're just beans. But what I was looking forward to is the Creole chicken, which I didn't expect to be bone in and covered in all this sauce. So it's gonna get really messy. After being in St. Martin and having sort of mystical, <laughs> life-changing food. Yeah, like the mind-blowing type of food where you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, this is... It's good. It's good. It just tastes like something you could cook at home almost. Almost. The groceries weren't too bad. The, like, the local like fresh fruits and vegetables were great. For whatever reason, <laughs> fresh vegetables, very affordable. Yeah. Sunstream did us dirty. That was 20 bucks. And now we get to lug our groceries. Up that oh, big hill. Up that hill. <laughs> so we made it back from grocery shopping. 
through the forest, put away the groceries. <laughs> and now we're gonna show you the Airbnb because yeah. it's actually check-in time. So it's very much like, you know, DIY, kind of home-built, kind of groovy hippie kind of place in the jungle on the edge of the sea cliffs. And it's probably one of the coolest Airbnbs we ever stayed in. It is so cool, it's amazing. Yeah. So let, let's show it to you guys. It's like a split level, two-story thing that's not connected inside. So yeah. first level is the kitchen and living room. It's pretty basic. All right, now we're gonna show you the upstairs, which to go upstairs, you gotta actually like climb some stairs. It's almost yeah. like a ship's ladder. <laughs> At first I thought the bathroom was downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man, every time you need to pee, you have to go down here. In the dark, but no, yeah. luckily the bathroom is in the place. It's a very humble little cottage up here. I can't even stand up straight. This is the first place I've ever been in that my shoulders touch the ceiling. <laughs> the real specialness about this place, right? It's not the lodging, it's the location. I we mean, are... to me, it feels like it's like super luxe glamping. Yes. Like you have electricity, you have Wi-Fi, but you're like kind of like off the beaten path, like in the middle of nowhere in nature. Yeah, hippie boho. Hippie yeah. boho, yeah. Hippie boho, it's, it's like... cool. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so anyway, that's it. You know, that's that's Airbnb. Wait, that is not it though. Okay, but that's, that's where we're staying and sleeping and living. You know, this is our own little space, but it's part of a larger property. There's actually two and a half acres of rainforest that we can go hiking on path starts right out that window and then we're going to show you the best part so come with us i love this place love the like glamping vibe but like also like still totally connected and has everything you want like potable water and internet <laughs> yeah and there's no locks <laughs> yeah no locks um that's like a feature of saba i guess there's only like what 1900 people that live here and they get 24,000 visitors a year yeah you know? and i guess supposedly Crime is like non-existent, so everyone just leaves their houses unlocked and like chills. And this is the best part. It's probably one of the most epic views I think I've ever seen. I mean, the camera just doesn't do it justice. Yeah, but we're like on a 2,000 foot cliff. I know. Overlooking the ocean. And, uh, Jesus, wow. it's scary. <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> like, it's really uncomfortable being here. <laughs> like, you should, just shouldn't be here. <laughs> As you hear it, like, creak. I know, we step I know. On that. You're like, like please do your maintenance. Please do your maintenance. <laughs> thing like flexes under your feet but it's amazing and then i think that is that's stacia stacia so that's where we're gonna stay next week there's dolphins what yeah there's dolphins down there look you can see them um they are <gasps> i see them we can see dolphins from up here this is insane <laughs> and how much was this place tonight i think uh, it was 56 yeah, something like it was, that. It was a little more expensive. Station's expensive. It's Christmas week, so we came here like peak of the peak tourist season. And, and you need to edit that to say Saba. Saba. Ugh, I keep saying Stacia. We just were talking about Stacia. <laughs> it's amazing. This is like easily the most amazing place we've ever stayed. All right, it is day two in Saba. Yep, and Saba's known for its hiking more than anything else. It's the unspoiled queen of the Caribbean. So what we're gonna go do is hike to the highest point in the kingdom of the Netherlands. Technically, we are in the Netherlands right yeah. now. And Mount Scenery, which happens to be in Windward Town. So we're gonna go find the trailhead. It's supposed to be two and a half hours round trip, something like a thousand feet of elevation gain. So to me, seems like an easy hike. We'll, we'll find out and let you know. <laughs> Easy hike. We just made it to the trailhead and it is literally just outside of town. That is town. That is the trailhead. <laughs> I'm 
I'm speaking too soon, but I think we're at the top. I hope so. All right, I was very wrong before. I was at least like another several hundred stairs, but <laughs> now we're actually at the top. A little rock scramble at the end. Not my favorite type of terrain. I'm gonna eat shit. Come on, Rin. I don't like rock climbing. Oh, come on, you're almost to the top. They need like a handle here. You got it. Yep. I don't know if I'll be able to get back down. You will, just stay low. You know, I actually had a nightmare last night that we were falling into the ocean in our Airbnb. Oh, thanks, Alan. <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. Let's see, can I selfie it with both of us and the town? Hey, look at that, I can. We are the highest people in the Netherlands today. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you ready to go? Yeah. Want to go see that? Um, Elfin Forest. Elfin Forest, thank you. Now we're going to go check out the Elfin Forest, which is one of the newest trails as I understand it, and it takes you through the cloud forest sort of at the top and then drops you back down. It is uh, quite muddy. I like <laughs> I, I'm really feeling like we're up in some wild forest right now, honestly. It's yeah. been a little treacherous. Not like the worst hike ever still, but... It's muddy. It's, it's muddy. muddy and slippery. Yeah. Bring, a, bring a pole and make sure your knees are good. This trail is definitely not the advertised 60 minutes. <laughs> like, I'd say we're pretty fit. Like. We're not professional athletes or anything, but you know, we're pretty young and healthy still. And this is challenging and it just keeps going and going and going. We're still on it. Oh my God. I think we finally made it off the trail. We made it. Oh, it's a beautiful sight, this flat ground, but uh, how are we gonna get back? I don't know. I want to show you guys how uh, the situation looks right now. Option one over here. And uh, option two. How far is town, you think? I don't know. Oh dear. I couldn't get service. We lost oh. what little bit we had. All right, so we're on the hike back from Zion Hill, I think that was called. And uh, it's a little dicey. The road's a little dicey, a little fast. Not any sidewalk. So hoping people take it kind of slow, but I guess hitchhiking's also a thing here. So if somebody's going that direction, I might try that out. What do you think? Should try it. Here's some, someone now. Someone now. You want to do it? You. You're the chick. No. So you're too awkward. I'm too awkward. All right, see. I have no social skills, so I'm stuck walking on this kind of sketchy road. Might get spotted by a car. I guess we'll never know. It was a car. What would have happened if I had the confidence to just hitchhike on the road? Oh my goodness. You're not gonna believe how short that was. No, it was not short. Yeah, that was only You walk out of Windward and to Zion Hill, almost all the way down the hill to the airport. You'll see a sign. It says a sulfur mine. That's where we're headed. This is definitely one of the most beautiful coastlines I've ever been on. Like, this is so cool. And we are the only people out here. We didn't even see anyone coming down on the trail like headed this direction. It is just so remote feeling. So this is a volcano 
and because of that, there's sulfur deposits that were mined. This mine is from 1887. And until recently, you could actually go inside on your own and explore. But they're doing some refurbishment right now. But they do still offer tours. They actually have a QR code here that you can sign up for a tour of the mine if you want to go on an official one. We're going to skip it though, because there's something about going into like an old mine that's over 100 years old that kind of freaks me out a little bit. All right, back up we go. You gotta tell us stuff about what we're doing, Rant. All right, there's the North Coast Trail. It says dangerous and you can only go with a guide. That way, we're not going that way. We're starting the all too far trail. And I really do feel like I'm all too far out here. I'm walking. I won't stop. I'm on a roll, bay. I don't even have the energy to do that like shot. So you like run, set the camera down and act like you're like completing the trail. <laughs> Yeah. Don't even have it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't believe them when they say like, oh, the Sandy Cruz Trail, it's moderate. Like, it's not moderate at all. I wouldn't rank the hike as extreme or the hiking as extreme, but difficult. Definitely difficult. Yeah, it's all hard. It's not like particularly dangerous. It's just like, you're gonna climb up the volcano. Uh, there's some pretty steep drop-offs. I, I cried and freaked out a couple times today, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, they weren't actually that bad. <laughs> I was definitely freaking out. Ooh, blister! Yeah, but you survived. Oh. And nobody got hurt, which means we've grown for it, right, Randy? Next time will be easier, right? It'll be less scary now that you've, you've overcome it. My feet stink. All right, so this is Mount Scenery, and this is the Mas Cajones Hill, where we're headed today. We took a couple of days to rest after this weekend's very uh, challenging hikes, and didn't do a whole lot. We did mosey into town, and uh, we found a little food truck down there, which is pretty cool. We met the guy running it, and they work with local farms to sell their produce and stuff, and it's so much fresher and cheaper than the grocery store, so pro tip if you ever come here, shop there. It's on Wednesdays. And uh, yeah, we gotta hike all the way down our hill and then up to the uh, like Mount Scenery Trail entrance because it's the same entrance. All right, let's go hike a mountain. Every single trail here has definitely been challenging. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot of these trails are ranked as easy. And okay, they're not like that hard, but like, you gotta be fit. Definitely gotta be fit. Did we already make it? Wow. Yeah. Short, not necessarily easy. Well, the view is great though, and look at Mount Scenery today. Not a cloud in sight. Today would have been the day to go. This hill, definitely much easier than Mount Scenery. Still an incredible view over the town. I actually think this has a better view of like that mountain, but I, I, I did like the view from Mount Scenery a little better myself. But it's still great. Like if you just need something like, I don't know, shorter and easier. You ready to go? So we stopped by the local store to pick up a very small snack for me and ended up with all this food because we were like, we're hungry. And they have these little uh, homemade snacks in a separate section. So I have no idea what this is. Mystery roll, we were just like, let's try it. We got a chicken roll and these little mixed homemade pies, which I thought were so cute. That's like what, 15 bucks? Something like that. I mean, Safe is expensive, but you are on like a tiny island where they have to import everything. So you have to keep that in mind when you're places like this. I, my guess was a roadie. <laughs> it looks like a roadie to me. It's a roadie. Hey. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like there's a literal chicken leg in there. Am I tripping? It is. It is a literal chicken leg. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, if you've never been to the Caribbean, 
There's a large Indian influence here because they imported a lot of Indian laborers after slavery was abolished for low-cost labor and they brought their delicious food with them. So you get these curry treats, right? This one is like a curry burrito. That's what a roti is. <laughs> That's right. It's a really, you know, turmeric-y, uh, Caribbean-style curry with some dark meat chicken. I really like this. Okay, then we got a chicken roll too. Ooh. What's it taste like? Italian food. <laughs> I know, I'm a savage, just ate that off like a random table. <laughs> mm. Definitely recommend either of these if you're looking for a snack. You know, it's a lot cheaper than the restaurant. No, we're just past the hill, I think. See what I mean, like through the trees? Oh, there we go! Save a Firework Show is actually a pretty fun. I guess they do it for New Year's a few days before the New Year. I don't know why that is, but it was half an hour long. We got kind of like an obstructed view because of where we were on the mountain and we weren't able to get down in time, but they do it smack in the middle of the airport. If you're here, it's probably worth checking out. It was pretty cool. Did you have fun with it, Alan? Let's see, Alan. Alan Davis needs some approval. Okay, let's go make dinner. <laughs> so we got an unexpected full bonus day here in Seba, and we're gonna go hike to the bottom, which is their capital, right? Yeah, there we go. Here's kind of the crossroad, so you can go to Mount Scenery up that way, which we already did. We are going to be taking the bottom mountain trail. Seba are so friendly. Yeah. Like you cannot stay here for more than like two days without making friends. We've made so many already. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to meet a older guy named Reed and he told us all about his life. He was it wasn't easy, like I said, but this is our life, you know? Mm -hmm. 22 children. Yeah, I know, that's insane. Can and you imagine? The first guy to ever have kids with a black woman. Mm -hmm. He had the first mixed kids on the whole island. Isn't that crazy? And 22 of them. So now like fully 1% of yeah. the entire population are just his kids. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That's crazy. And for scale, here's my hand. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a quick guide to how to pick up hose and sepa. Sometimes you just find them on the side of the trail. Look at that hoe. <laughs> Sandwich juice. <laughs> it is literally so pretty here. Yeah. I love it. I like it a lot too. Mm -hmm. You could definitely come and stay a while. You might have to one of these days. Wow, look at that. This is the capital. The this bottom. is the bottom. We just stumbled on a museum here. Do you want to pop in real quick? Sure. Too small, and now she opened it here. So your mom. Parents' house. So this is entirely put on by your parents. No? Yes. Wow, yes. that's amazing. Does that mean the major was your father? Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we are trying, and my mother uh, passed away last year. So we are trying to keep it up, you know. I love that, keeping the spirit of it alive. I love that. So is this a museum of old Seba then? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bye now. Have a good afternoon. That was neat. Mm -hmm. Cool little stop. Yeah, it, it is cool to learn a little bit more. It's mm -hmm. like you're just peeling away the layers of this place. Yeah, I know. Like the the yellow thing on their crest being a potato. I, I definitely thought it was, thought it was sulfur. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we were just discussing that it's pretty interesting being on such a small island because pretty much no matter who you meet, it's like somebody interesting that knows somebody or does something interesting. Tells you something interesting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, we gotta get out of the way because traffic.
Want to keep going? Yeah. The ladder. You want to tell me about it? This is how they used to get goods up here back mm -hmm. in ye olden day. Yeah, before they built the roads. This yeah. is it. Yeah, before cars and stuff existed, you used to have to get stuff down from the bay and walk it up a bunch of steep stairs. <laughs> You're really going to have us climb this whole mountain the way back, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at the water there. And uh, tell me that doesn't my just knees. call you. <laughs> my knees are not happy. <sighs> Fired there? <laughs> I don't even know if you can complete this. Because yeah, when you look down, the stairs are broken down here. What? That was wild! <laughs> what? What is it? What that made me so offensive to that hummingbird, man? I don't know. That was... <laughs> that was crazy. Before leaving Saba, we decided to do the Sandy Bay Trail, which ended up being one of our favorite hikes. But we were being lazy and decided to leave our main camera behind. So we did not vlog much of it, with a couple of exceptions. Alan over here just having a full conversation with a goat. <laughs> this trail took us down to the ocean where you can find the oldest ruins on the island and link up with the road that leads to the airport and the tide pool trail, which is super cool because it looks like it's a landscape from another planet. And then we finally got to have the hitchhiker experience after a couple of guys very kindly stopped and offered to give us a ride when it was raining. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. But before we end the video, I have to announce the winner of the giveaway in the last video, which was for uh, Rolly, which is the watercolor painting I did in the last video. And just really quick, please excuse my like really ghetto setup. Like when you're traveling, this is all you've got sometimes. Alan's holding the camera. <laughs> and uh, just before this, I tore up a bunch of names and put them in my equally ghetto hat. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick somebody at random. Ooh, this is exciting. Something wrong with the camera? You gave it to me on lock, so I can't zoom. Ah, uh, okay. Are we, are we zooming in on the... I was just going to do this in one take. All right, we ready? We got Steve Ringler 6622. Woo! Okay. Uh, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> is it focusing? There we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Our camera is being a little fussy. The light's not great right now. But yeah, message us on Instagram, email us, Facebook messages, whatever you want. Just send us your shipping information and we'll send them to you as soon as we get back to the United States in a couple weeks. Thanks guys. Woo, Steve. <laughs>